Are these cities at a point of no return or can they turn the tide and secure a better future? In this video, we'll delve into the ongoing decline of several US cities. This decline triggers a chain reaction, depleting tax revenues, essential public services and funding for vital infrastructure, ultimately leading to a shrinking job market and a departure of residents, perpetuating a problematic cycle with the rise in violent crime rates often acting as a critical indicator. 10. Baltimore Baltimore, a city grappling with many long-standing issues, has faced a significant population decline due to its high crime rates, widespread poverty, and aging infrastructure. Moving beyond mere statistics, the city grapples with severe poverty with a median household income of $37,000, a stark contrast to the national average of over $70,000. Baltimore also contends a staggering rate of around 820 violent crimes per 100,000 residents, more than the national average of 395. The city's population has steadily decreased over the years, falling from 622,000 in 2010 to 602,000 in 2020, and it is projected to witness an additional 9% decrease soon. 9. Kansas City, Missouri Kansas City, Missouri is a unique city, straddling two states. It faces challenges attracting young professionals, which has led many to believe that it may encounter population decline in the foreseeable future. As of 2023, the city's population stands at slightly over 500,000 residents. Notably, one of its significant issues is the prevalence of violent crime, exceeding the national average by a staggering 281% with approximately 900 violent crimes per 100,000 residents. In 2010, the city had 478,000 residents, and by 2020, it had grown to 498,000. However, predictions suggest a potential decline of up to 2.3% in the next few years, based on factors such as poverty rates, crime statistics, and a median household income of $50,000. 8. Minneapolis, Minnesota. In recent years, Minneapolis, Minnesota has grappled with challenges, including rising crime rates and racial tensions. This city has also seen a decline in population due to its high cost of living, which remains a persisting issue. In 2023, Minneapolis had a population of approximately 420,000. This is notably lower than its peak population in 1950, around 520,000. While the median household income in Minneapolis is relatively close to the national average at $60,000, compared to the national figure of over $70,000, the city faces a significant hurdle in its crime rate, with around 1,000 violent crimes per 100,000 residents, which is relatively high. A projection indicates a potential 2.3% population decrease by the time of the 2030 census. 7. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, Wisconsin stands out as a unique anomaly within the generally safe state of Wisconsin. However, historically, Milwaukee is known as the supposed inspiration for the TV show Happy Days, which interestingly featured Scott Bio. In a peculiar twist, Fonzie, a character from the show, famously jumped a shark. As of 2023, Milwaukee's population hovers around 560,000 residents, a significant decline from its peak in 1960 when it reached 740,000. The city's median household income is notably lower at $40,000, quite a stretch from the national average of $70,000. Milwaukee contends with a substantial crime problem, with 1,100 violent crimes per 100,000 residents. Between 2010 and 2020, the city lost 21,000 residents, and it's predicted that it may experience a further 3.5% decrease by the time of the 2030 census, representing a conservative estimate given the prevailing conditions. 6. Cincinnati, Ohio Cincinnati, Ohio has grappled with economic challenges for an extended period, and it has lost population due to elevated crime rates and aging infrastructure. In 2023, Cincinnati's population stood at around 300,000 residents, a notable decline from its peak in 1950 when it reached 504,000. The city faces economic hardships with a median household income of $45,000 annually. 
Cincinnati's exceptionally high violent crime rate is concerning, with 1,200 violent crimes per 100,000 residents, making it a risky place to be. Cincinnati's recent trends in 2021 and 2022 reflect a population decrease, with a 0.1% drop in the former year and a 0.6% decrease in the latter. Projections suggest a potential 5% population loss by the 2030 census, barring significant developments such as establishing a large factory or a primary business relocating to Cincinnati, which could alter the trajectory. 5. Buffalo, New York Buffalo, New York has taken the impact of declining manufacturing, earning a reputation where civility is in short supply and a significant crime problem. The city grapples with a high crime rate and struggles to draw in new residents, regardless of age, making it a challenging place for human beings in general to settle. The high crime rate has deterred many from calling it home. As of 2023, Buffalo's population is approximately 278,000, with a median household income of $35,000 and a disturbing crime rate of 1,400 violent crimes per 100,000 residents. Surprisingly, these colder weather cities like Buffalo, Detroit, Chicago and Cleveland also grapple with significant crime rates. The projections suggest a potential 9% population decrease by the 2030 census. 4. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania grapples with a high crime rate and challenges attracting young professionals and new industries. The city's population peaked during the 1950 census, with 676,000 residents, but has since dwindled to around 301,000. Notably, the city hasn't experienced a population gain since 1950. The median household income in Pittsburgh is approximately $50,000, which, while not the worst on this list, still falls notably below the national average, trailing by $20,000. Pittsburgh contends with a concerning crime rate, with 1,500 violent crimes per 100,000 residents. Between 2010 and 2020, Pittsburgh's population decreased from 305,000 to 302,000, focusing exclusively on the city, not the broader metropolitan area, which boasts around 2.3 million residents. Projections suggest a potential 11% population decrease by the 2030 census. 3. St. Louis, Missouri St. Louis, Missouri has grappled with long-standing divisions along racial and class lines, experiencing a population decline due to its high crime rates and a struggling economy. As of 2023, the city's population stands around 300,000, while the entire metropolitan area encompasses approximately 3 million residents. St. Louis faces a significant challenge regarding its affordability. The median household income hovers around $40,000, noticeably falling short of the national average. However, the city's most pressing issue, and that of the broader metro area, including East St. Louis, revolves around its crime problem. St. Louis contends with a strikingly high violent crime rate, tallying 1,800 violent crimes per 100,000 residents, a concerning statistic. In 2010, the population numbered 319,000, which decreased to 301,000 by 2020 and even more so in 2021, plummeting to 293,000. This trend shows no signs of slowing down with some estimates projecting a potential loss of up to 13% of the remaining population by 2030. 2. Cleveland, Ohio Cleveland, Ohio has suffered the blows of declining manufacturing in the United States, leading to a loss in population attributed to high crime rates and aging infrastructure. The 2023 population stands at 380,000, marking a significant decrease from its peak in 1950 with 914,000 residents. Since 1950, every census has recorded a population decline, prompting questions about the reasons behind this exodus. The primary factors likely include low income levels and the city's significant crime problem. With a median household income of just $32,000 and an alarming violent crime rate of 2,300 violent crimes per 100,000 residents, one might wonder why anyone chooses to reside here. In 2010, Cleveland had 396,000 residents, which fell to 372,000 by 2020. 
Projections suggest that Cleveland may lose an additional 12% of its population by 2030 without a significant turnaround. 1. Detroit Detroit, often called Detroit Rock City, has a long history of struggles. The city's woes can largely be attributed to the diminishing auto industry, leading to job losses and a declining population. It contends with a high crime rate, which has deterred new residents from settling there. It has been continuously declining, with most decades witnessing double-digit population losses. In 2010, the city had 713,000 residents, reducing to 639,000 by 2020. The reasons behind this exodus are multifaceted, but can be partly attributed to the city's low median household income of $35,000 and its daunting violent crime rate, with a staggering 2,700 violent crimes per 100,000 residents. While Detroit has made some efforts to revitalize its downtown area over the past five to six years, there is still a long way to go before it becomes a desirable place to live. Projections suggest that by the 2030 census, Detroit may lose an additional 12% of its already dwindling population, highlighting the city's ongoing challenges. That's a wrap for the top 10 cities. Everyone is leaving in America 2024. If you learned something, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the following video. This is Vacation Awaits.